everyone so in this video i have explained about trunk extension mmt so if you haven't watched my trunk flexion mmt then i will upload the i button here so you can watch that video later so let's start this video now for trunk extension mmt there's one different thing that you need to know that in trunk extension mmt we take separate mmt of thorax and lumbar area so grade 4 and 5 are separate for thorax and lumbar area while grade 3 2 1 and 0 are same for thorax and lumbar area so now let's start this video so that you can understand this thing more easily so the muscles involved are iliocostalis thoracis lumborum longissimus thoracis spinalis thoracis semi spinalis thoracis multifidus rotators thoracis and lumborum interspinalis thoracis and lumborum intertransversi thoracis and lumborum quadratus lumborum and gluteus maximus so now we will start with grade 3 so grade 3 is similar for thorax and lumbar area in this the patient will be in prone line and his hands will be at the side and he will be out of the table at the nipple level therapist will stabilize the lower limb by holding just above the ankle and then tell the patient to extend his trunk until the umbilicus clears the table so this is grade 3 patient completes the range of motion now for checking lumbar spine grade 4 so for this the patient will be prone line and hands are clasped behind the head therapist can stabilize his lower limbs and then ask the patient to extend his trunk patient has to clear the umbilicus from the table in grade 4 patient will complete the range with so much effort it will be not smooth so if patient completes the range with so much efforts it would be considered as grade 4 so for checking grade 5 the position will be same but the patient will complete the range so smoothly and with ease effortlessly so it will be considered as grade 5 Now we will check thoracic spine grade 4. So for this the patient will be out of the couch at nipple level and he will clasp his hands and therapist will stabilize the lower limbs. Tell the patient to extend up to the horizontal level or beyond it. Patient will perform grade 4 with so much of efforts and it will be not smooth. In grade five, the position will be same. The therapist will will stabilize the lower limbs, but patient will perform very smoothly and effortlessly. So this is the main difference between grade four and five. In grade four, patient perform movement with so much of efforts, and in grade five, patient perform movement very smoothly. So patient will extend up to the horizontal level or beyond it. So now I will tell you grade 2 it is same for lumbar and thoracic spine for this the patient will be in prone line and patient will complete only the partial range as you can see he can only lift the head and therapist will palpate the muscle activity just at the side of spine in grade 2 hands will be supported on the couch for grade 1 patient will not perform any movement but there will be muscle activity and in grade 0 there will be no appreciable muscle activity 